It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from tier one teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days, they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. Oh, a little tremor there. <laughs> Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. Another one? There, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind's starting to pick up, too. Dad? Let's just get to the house. Make sure nothing got damaged. Control, the orbital weapon's got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, drive fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. Begin rotate. Five meters, payload. Two meters. Zero your rotation delta payload. 
Mosley, airlock C is ready for arrival. Capturing. Talk back to Bobber Pole. Get retracted. Copy, payload. Pressurizing airlock. Oh, really looking forward to going home. What's it been? Three months? Payload, we have hard talk. And you parked. That's strategy. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. to verify. Estimated casualties. Over 27 million. Oh, shit! Odin's firing! They're uploading more targets. Payloads 2, 3, and 4. Houston, what do we do? Odin Control. We have no choice. We're scuttling the station. I'm sorry, Mosley. Oh, Baker! We need to move! In 10 seconds. All crew, get to a secure area. Storage station is reinforced. Follow me. In 3, 2, 1. Odin Control. <laughs> Odin Control, are you copying? It's, it's mostly... Baker and I are still here. Holy shit. Copy, Mosley. Odin targeting on payloads 3 and 4 have been aborted. But payload 2 is still sequencing. Targeting locked. San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Washington, D.C. We're not that Baker. Let's move to Odin and bring it down. I don't think we're making it home, Baker. Systems are not responding. 23 degrees. I'm dumped that tub in the ocean.
The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Survivors? Negative. Sorry I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Quiet boy. Listen. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab a gear, let's move. Team two, are you near our position? Outside. Your boy's got something. Riley does. We're checking it now. Raj, we'll secure the exit. Two one out. Getting hungry. You don't want to eat anything out here, boy. Let's head back and eat some real food. 
6-1, sit rep. Just in local wildlife. Okay. Check. Huh? Moving up to RP Silver. Huh? RP. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Rush. There she is. Looking like hell. Still standing. Yo, Sergeant, your area secure? Just about. We need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go through. Good with the gas station. You got it. Executing civvies. Move in, move in! Riley, go! Contact 30 meters! Cover me! Copy on
Security in the back. Let's go find the old man. Dad! I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long, so I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with the recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home.
call it no man's land. A span of destruction between LA and San Diego created when Odin was turned against us. The beaches and surf breaks of my own childhood were now mined and abandoned. Dad told us few men got to operate in no man's land. It was too dangerous, too unpredictable. If he was sending us out there, it must have been important to him. Still, I couldn't help but think this was another one of his tests, a lesson he was trying to teach us. Is it on? Okay, looks like we're good. Beginning sector scan. Contact. Enemy patrol approaching from the west. Do not engage. Let him get closer. Get ready. Do it. Take him out! Clear. It's a third group in 20 miles. Ice peeled. Could be more of them. Definitely the place. Stuck 
your position. You boys better double time it or you'll get left behind. Roger that. We're on our way. Marking the rally point now. Get Riley out of there. We'll regroup at the exit. Good boy, Riley. Let's move. Stalker 6, we're headed to your position. Don't start the party without us. Riley, slow down. This is Stalker up to? Riley, heal! Whoa, 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 slow down. It's going to be Firebase Charlie. You want yours? Yeah. Ajax. All right, we don't have a lot of time. You can stick with us, but you do what I say when I say it. Understood? Yes, sir. from the shadows and vanished into sunlight. Outside the wall, their reputation lingered over no man's land like a shroud of fear, a weapon far more effective than brass or steel. Merrick and Keegan, these were the men Dad had spoken of, the ghosts, and someone dared to go against them. They were headed to San Diego, Federation territory, to find their man Ajax. Ghosts, we'd only imagined them. Now, we were determined to be one of them. All right, remote sniper's online. 